Mariana College Sports Information Director here with head football coach Andy Waddle after the Pioneers' 27-21 victory over Capital University. Uh, coach, your thoughts on the, on the win? It's a really hard-fought game by both teams. I mean, uh, you know, both both teams committed to the run and, and, and were physical in the attack. And, you know, our guys just made, uh, you know, just enough plays to go out and, and get the W. And certainly it's a credit to, uh, you know, to, to, to the offensive line and the running game. And, and, and the defense getting the stops when we needed and, and guys on special teams making plays. So uh, really proud of a lot of guys. And um, certainly big for, big for our, our program to just continue to, to continue every year to show improvement and continue to get better. And, and we're going to continue to do that hopefully the rest of this year. Well, let's talk about Roger Walker. Six straight game over 100 yards, 150-some today. Just continues to, to do the yeah. job week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not – 100% sure on this, but he's got to be right at 1,100 yards, and um, Rogers having a great year, and, and and Rogers a product of you know number one coming in and in great shape and working hard, but he's also a product of of uh, you know the guys around him too, and the offensive line, and and those guys have been able to you know overcome a few injuries and continue to still be a really productive group, and and Darian's. You know, had some good games around him in the receivers, and you know, offensively, I think we've been clicking. But uh, you know, so Roger is a product of that, but the offense is also a project of Roger. And um, you know, it's like which one comes first. Uh, but he's certainly done some great things, and, and hopefully, he'll continue to the rest of the way. And then let's talk about Darian. Uh, another game over 200 yards passing, still makes plays happen with his feet as well. It's yeah. just a really tough guy to stop. Yeah, you know, uh, Darian made some great plays today. You know, we had a, a, a look where, uh, you know, maybe we we um, wanted him to do a few different things. But overall, he played, you know, a, a pretty solid game. I think that both of those guys would like to wipe off the turnovers that, that we had. But, you know, you take those away. We moved the ball, I thought, fairly well. We were just under 500 yards of offense, and, and we were able to get the scores when we needed. Anyone that's been around the program day in and day out for the last three years has clearly seen the progress. But now the people that don't see it day in and day out can see it because, you know, we got one more win, and we have a chance to go beat Otterbein. Just talk about the progress that you've made and, yeah. and continue to make. You, you know, we've, we've made an improvement in either our, our overall record or in our OAC record every year um, since 2012. We're the only team in the OAC that can say that. Um, you know, so uh, we won one more game this year at this point than we did a year ago, and hopefully we'll continue to go out and win, win more. But... Uh, you know, either in the OAC record or in the the overall record, we're the only team that's that's improved every year. And so I think that we're, you know, on the right trajectory to, to go out and continue to, to win um, more games every year. And I I told the group of recruits here, you know, our our goals are going to continue to elevate. You know, and maybe they haven't been as fast as what I've wanted them to, or the guys in the program have wanted them to. But we've continued to show improvement, and that's a credit to a lot of people, Coach Step to the seniors, uh, to, to the people, that, that the alumni that are supporting us. And so many of our alumni, you know, have, have, have started to jump in and, and get involved in, um, with, their, with their time and with their money. And those guys are, are uh, they don't even begin to know how thankful I am and how thankful our, our guys are and how important that's going to be as we continue to build the program and, and to, you know, uh, a team that's going to be competitive with, with teams like Capital, but competitive with everybody in the OAC. Nine down, one to go, and we'll go back out on the road, and no road games are easy in the conference, but uh, early thoughts on uh, finishing up at Otterbein? <laughs> I don't have too much thoughts on Otterbein. I mean, we've seen we've seen some film on Otterbein uh, because of, uh, you know, we're all playing the same teams, and, and um, when you look at Otterbein, I think that you're going to see, you know, Number one, a, a tremendous quarterback that's that's playing at a high level. He's a runner. He's an athlete. Um, you see a really well coached team on defense. They get into a, you know a number of different fronts and some different looks that that other teams in the OAC aren't. Um, but man, they're well coached, and you can certainly see that. And um, their kids play hard, and they've got some athletes, you know, um, on both sides of the ball. So it's going to be a tough game. Uh, 
I hope that they're looking at us and they're saying, hey, you know, we're, we know we're going to get a physical group that's coming our way, and we know it's going to be a, a, a tough game, you know, and, and – um, so I certainly would, would expect that, and, and um, we'll break them down a little bit more as the week goes. All right. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you.